The road to Sochi is not an easy one to travel, and living the life of an elite athlete is not as glamorous as one might think. Today I'm meeting up with snowboarder Justin Ryder in my hometown of Steamboat Springs to do some backcountry skiing and see what's driving him to Olympic gold. My name is Justin Ryder. I am a snowboard racer, so I compete in parallel slalom and parallel giant slalom. Both are racing events, so you'll have one competitor in a red course and one competitor in a blue course going head to head. Parallel giant slalom is a higher speed, much more smooth, rhythmical turns, and parallel slalom is going to be much faster. The gates are going to be very close together, kind of the courses deteriorate, become more rodeo style. It's spectator friendly. You don't have to wonder, is that trick more intense than that trick? Why did that guy win? I don't understand. He went bigger, but this guy did more complex tricks. It's very simple. It's the first guy to cross the finish line is the winner. Okay, come on, Justin. When I grew up snowboarding, everybody did everything. We all rode pipe, we all rode slope, we all raced, we all did border cross. But when I turned 17, 18, the sport was changing quite rapidly and the specialization became so important. And so I sat down with my coach and he was like, Justin, you know it. Unfortunately, you, you'll have to choose. You probably got a little more speed out of it too. Okay. I love riding pipe, but I loved racing. Kind of like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I just want to go fast. Run again and slip? Yes. Okay. We are so excited to have parallel slalom as a new sport in the Olympics this year. We had, prior to this, one opportunity to win the medals. It now offers two opportunities for racers to win medals. Justin Ryder looking very strong into the finish. Hey, what's up? Justin hey. George Oliphant. George, nice to meet you. Nice Justin to meet Ryder. you. I understand that you uh, have a big backcountry regiment for your training? Try to. One of my favorite things to do in the winter time is skinning or AT skiing or backcountry snowboarding. And what it involves is taking a set of skis or a split board, which is a snowboard that splits in two to create skis, and you put what's called skins on the bottom. And they're named skins because they used to be made out of seal skins. And they're smooth in one direction and they catch in the other. And that allows a skier or a snowboarder to then be able to slide up the mountain. So how much of your workouts consist of things like this? Once the winter time comes, which is obviously where we are now, right? 70% <laughs> of the time outdoors, skinning, maintaining cardio, Endurance. hiking, trail running. Because if you're lifting all the time, plus riding all the time, it's just a big load for the body. Yeah. 